Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm finally ready to do a full review on one of the new foundations from ColourPop. This is the ColourPop No Filter stick foundation and I have quite a lot of thoughts on this. So before we jump into the video, don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you like these foundation reviews and if you haven't and you'd like to, hope you would consider subscribing and the little bell icon so you're notified whenever I post a new video every single Monday through Friday. Now yes, my hair is still in clips because it is still drying and this is fairly early in the morning. So let's start with the description from the ColourPop website. This foundation retails for $10 and you get 9.5 grams of product in here, which for a stick foundation, that's actually a decent amount of product. I've seen a lot of other stick foundations where you're really not getting that much product, but pushed all the way up, that's what it looks like after... I don't know, about a week's worth of use. I do have a brand new one open. Let me open that one up. <laughs> so that's how much product you get in a brand new stick foundation. According to the ColourPop website, swipe, blend, and go with no filter sticks. It conceals, corrects, and perfects for a flawless complexion in seconds. We'll get into that. Its medium buildable coverage instantly blurs pores, covers blemishes, and blends effortlessly. Again, we'll, we'll get into that. For a natural skin-like finish, never cakey or drying, the stick glides on for the easiest application. Perfectly portable, take on the go for mess-free touch-ups. Anytime, anywhere. Okay. Mm, I really don't agree with the majority of that description, but first let's talk about the actual product. So I picked up three shades because I really had no idea what shade was going to match me. They have a large shade range here, although the picture up right here of all the shades available. They also have a little tool where you can like shade match according to other brands, but I'm not a huge stick foundation lover. I'm actually trying to get into stick foundations, but so far I haven't had the best of luck. So I haven't had um, a perfect shade match to a stick foundation, but if there is a stick foundation that you do like, you can look up your shade with shades from that stick foundation. So the shades I ended up picking up were Light 50W, Light 55C, and Light 67N. So W being warm, C being cool, and being neutral. I picked up one of each because I was looking at all the swatches, I was looking at videos, and these just seemed like my best bet. But honestly, I kind of really didn't know. During my first application, I also swatched them on my neck so you can very clearly see which ones matched and which ones didn't. Light 67N was way too dark for me, so that one is still in its little unit cart and box. The other two shades weren't perfect matches for me either, so I really don't know if there's another shade that would match me better, but for the purposes of my skin tone, I ended up having to mix these two shades together or use light 50W kind of all over my face and then in the high points of my face, use 55C just to kind of even it out. For the purpose of application, I did also apply one of these shades by itself just to see if the process was any different but for my first application I did mix these two together and that's what you'll see in the overlay videos that I show of the first application. This foundation was really tough to blend out. It It is one of the worst things to try and blend out around your nose. It never looked good around my nose. It I don't want to say it looked dry but it, it looked patchy definitely looked patchy especially on my forehead and around my nose the whole appeal of a stick foundation is that it's supposed to be quick like you go swipe 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 you blend it out you're good i could not do that with this foundation once i blended it out with a brush i saw brush strokes i saw patchiness i had to go in and smooth it out with a sponge and then kind of go in with another layer in certain spots just to kind of build up where it had become patchy so if you were to apply this foundation the best way to do it is just to swipe on a couple of stripes at a time you don't want to go for your whole face all at once you want to blend it out with a brush and then immediately smooth it out with a sponge that's going to get you the best application and even then, like for me, it didn't look fantastic. What really saved it, like after powdering, because I did powder this foundation, because I found that if I didn't powder it, it would disappear. It wouldn't stay. And I, I don't even have like really oily skin. It's just, 
it didn't stay. This is a foundation that looks really like dry and kind of meh until you put on your setting spray and then everything kind of melts together and it pushes the foundation from like 0 to 10. It looked so much better. So if you're gonna use this foundation, you're gonna need to powder it and then use a heavy dose of setting spray just to make it wearable. After that, it was wearable. It did look okay. But at the end of the day, <laughs> I took this video when uh, I wore it for the full day for the first time and it never really got any better than this. It broke down horribly on my forehead and around my nose and I noticed that I actually did break out from this foundation. I was breaking out originally on my chin, those are my normal like hormonal breakouts that happen during that time of the month, but I was seeing pimples where I normally don't get pimples like up on my cheek and they were smaller and it, what I'm trying to get at is that it wasn't my normal acne and it was really confusing to me so when I first tried this out I saw those little pimples pop up and I thought okay you know what? I'm gonna wait for my entire face to clear up from the normal horm horm hormones hormones from the hormones and then once my face is clear I'll try it again after that, I wore this foundation for two days in a row. One day, I just wore a light 50W, and then the next day, I mixed them again. And after wearing this for a day, I broke out again. And it was those same little weird pimples that I normally don't get. Like up here, I saw some over here, which sometimes I can get, and then I saw some up here. So my skin does, does not react well to something in this foundation and my skin isn't particularly sensitive like I don't think I'm overly sensitive but it made me break out and this is actually the first foundation that I've had that kind of reaction to so overall I really can't recommend this foundation I've tried everything that I really can to make it work but the way that it wears along with how difficult it is to apply I, I really don't see any benefits to this and this is really a shame I'm, i was hoping for a good foundation from ColourPop. they had their liquid foundation which was also a huge nope for me and then this one just didn't work well with my skin made me break out uh, i don't know i feel like it's probably now two strikes and you're out with ColourPop. if they ever come out with another foundation i'm probably gonna skip it because it just doesn't work well with my skin not to say that it might not work for you but if you have a similar skin type to me combination skin, some dry spots, some oily spots. It didn't look good. The only spots that this foundation looked amazing on were like the places where it made me break out. Like my like normal areas because I get really dry up here and down here and then I get really oily right here. It looked horrible in those spots. But here where I'm like normal, it looked great, but it made me break out. So I'm actually going to pour over the ingredients of this and look into what actually made my skin react the way that it did. Because like I said, I haven't had that kind of reaction before and it actually kind of like, not scared me, but it surprised me. So I really want to look into the ingredients and see what might have caused that. Or maybe it was just the application, how it's a little bit more rough than traditional foundation since you are swiping it on. But I don't know. So I'm going to be doing a little bit more research just to figure out, if, if I can, why my skin reacted the way that it did. But overall, I can't really recommend this foundation. So thank you so much for watching. Hope if you like this, you'll give it a thumbs up. And I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye.